Hello friends, welcome to this lecture of COA. In this lecture, I will talk about uh, some of the basic components of, co of computer and, and uh, about the uh, various microprocessor series. So, let us begin with the, some of the important components inside the computer. So, the first thing that we consider in computer organization architecture is buses. Is bus. So, buses are basically metallic wires which provide interface to computer peripherals. So it is a very important component. Bus is basically uh, uh, I have bus bus is basically is metallic parallel. Uh, sorry. Bus is a uh, bus is a singular and buses are basically plural. So buses are metallic parallel wires which provide interface to computer peripherals when we say interface it simply means it provides a medium of communication with the computer peripherals what are computer peripherals computer peripherals are basically all the input output devices that we make use in computer so that is the basic idea of using the buses in computer next component is main memory that is, we call it sometime RAM, we call it sometime internal memory, and it is used to store computer programs, and when we say program, we basically mean data and instruction. So all the data and instruction in the form of the program that is uh, that are fed, fed that are fed by user to the computer basically get stored inside the main memory before it is going to be executed by the CPU. So main memory that is RAM is basically random access memory and sometimes we also call it volatile memory volatile memory simply implies that when the power gets switched off uh, whatever the thing that we have done in the computer get totally lost so it is advisable that whenever you are going to uh, 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 to work over the over the RAM or the main memory, you must make sure that you uh, you save your program, uh, save save your program for the future use. One more thing about main memory is that it it can both read and write So RAM basically can both read and write, uh, can perform, it can perform read and write operations. So RAM is basically capable of performing both read and write operations. So that is about the main memory, that is RAM. Second thing is a ROM. When we say ROM, ROM is read only memory. and it is called the permanent memory in computer when we say permanent memory it simply implies that it contains system program which means the program which basically controls the entire computer so room is a permanent memory and it consists of the program that basically is loaded 
uh, when we start a computer for the first time and that program basically loads into the main memory which are further processed by the CPU to in order to execute it to provide the specified output. So moving to the next we have the concept of uh, microprocessor series. So let us discuss what is uh, uh, what are the various microprocessor series available. So when we <coughs> talk about microprocessor series, we have a lots of lots of series. We have a lots of lots of series of microprocessor available. So starting with Uh, it is basically you can see this is the memory yes, basically see. we will discuss about it uh, in detail uh, further memory unit in bits and the technology that we basically make use over it these are the three things we are going to discuss here. So, the first and the earliest most available microprocessor series was 4004. And it was basically 4 bit. It has a 4, it had 4 bit memory in it. And it was built on the technology PMOS second was 808 series and it has 8 bit memory unit and it had it was built on the technology that is NMOS so do remember all these important points because they are sometimes asked during the interviews. So uh, then 8080 it was again a 4 bit microprocessor and it was also built on NMOS. Then they come, they came 8085 microprocessor series and it was also 8 bit microprocessor and was also built on the NMOS technology. Then the great advancement came when 8086 microprocessor came into the market and it was both 8 bit and 16 bit series so it was available in both of the version in 8 bit uh, for, uh, 8 bit version or also the 16 bit version then came uh, it was built on HMOS HMOS so do remember that so this PN is basically associated with the transistor. I think uh, you all are aware, are aware about PNP transistor or NPN transistor. This is basically the idea to understand this technology. PMOS basically associated with PNP transistor and MOS is basically associated with NPN transistor. And HMOS is basically the high density metallic, metallic or oxide semiconductor. So 
This is the idea of the microprocessor series. Further, we have 8088 and 8088 is basically 16 bit and uh, it doesn't have uh, so, uh, so much detail of the technology but it is considered to be built on simple high density metal metallic oxide semiconductor. Then we have 80186 which is again 16 bit microprocessor. Then we have 80286 and which is again a 16 bit microprocessor. Then we have 80386 microprocessor, which is basically 13 bit, 32 bit microprocessor. We have 80486, which is again, uh, which is which is basically 64 bit, 64 bit microprocessor. And finally, we have 80586 microprocessor series. And it is basically come under Pentium series. So they are available as Pentium series. And <coughs> nothing is to say about the technology of the Pentium series. It, uh, they are basically uh, built on uh, some of the high, highly graded uh, components that we will discuss in one of our lectures. So this is all about the microprocessor series. We will discuss more about the microprocessor in our coming lecture.